You're a Democrat. You want to run for governor, red state. Why? And what do you think the chances of you winning will be? Well, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even announced that I'm filing if I didn't think that I'd be able to win. I mean, you don't go out and do something just for the exercise. You go out to be successful. Now, the reason that I'm, I'm running is that I believe this state needs someone as a governor who has my experience. Uh, every bad thing that we have been dealing with, that we are starting to get control, police pensions, uh, opioid epidemic, uh, roads, our own fiscal problems that, that we had, we've aggressively addressed all of those. Um, I'm the only person who's talking about running for governor who has had to actually work on all those things. He says that, so if I'm going into a community that is having this problem and I jump down in the hole with them and say, well, how do we get out of here? He said, that's okay. I've been down here and I know how to pull us up. I think we need a governor that, that does that. And if it's going to be anybody uh, leading the state in these next four years, I think I bring what's necessary to be able to do that. Current governor ran as a Democrat, then switched parties to Republican. Do we see that repeating? Lord, no. <laughs> no I'm, a, I'm, a Dem I'm a Democrat. I've, ru I've run in every race. I've run as a Democrat. But in every race that I've run, I have never once asked or suggested to anyone that they should vote for me because I'm a Democrat. Vote for me because I'm bringing the most aggressive, most um, advanced ideas. Um, I don't have a D after my name. Uh, I have a WV after my name. And I think as I'm spending time this next year going around meeting people, they're going to start to realize, you asked why? I'm a member, uh, I am a lifelong member of the state of West Virginia. I was born here, my family goes back in several generations. I had two grandfathers that uh, died because of being in the mines. They didn't die in the mines, but they had heart problems and lung problems and everything. And I'm standing on their shoulders. Mayor, because you're a Democrat, do you think you have a longer climb up the hill in a red state? Oh, of course I do. You know, it is a steep climb. But this is a climb worth worth taking. Um, I've been brought in my life up to facing challenges head on. I've learned spiritually, I've learned business-wise, in life, you name it, you can own it. That's what we've done here. And by naming it and owning it, I haven't done anything, but the entire community has come together. It's time that we as West Virginians all come together as our culture teaches us to not to point at someone else and belly ache because there's uh, some um, misgiving that has been given uh, has occurred. Fact of the matter is, if my neighbor is hurting, I'm going to go help them. And that's the West Virginia way. When you start campaigning in the northern part of West Virginia, where a lot of people may not be familiar with you or your name, Give me three things as to why they should vote for Steve Williams for governor. I'm the most qualified person, as, as, as I indicated earlier. Um, I've dealt with police issues. I've dealt with opioid epidemic. I've dealt with fiscal issues and hit them. We were nearly bankrupt when I became mayor. We now have a 20 plus million dollar surplus. Um, I've built roads. Um, and I've had to reach out into the community and build consensus. So there are several different reasons uh, right there, but the fact of the matter is none of these folks know me. I'm gonna introduce them, myself to them. I'm Steve Williams. I'm the mayor of Huntington, West Virginia. I'm the Democratic candidate for governor, and uh, I'd like to talk with you. One thing that I have come to understand in these years, if individuals will give me a chance to let them know where I stand. 
and hear me, I'll walk away with 90% of the folks in the room. Um, now, if they have said, decided that I'm a Democrat and there's no way in Hades they're going to vote for me, well, they would never vote for me anyway, and I understand that. Um, but once I am elected, they'll find that I'm someone that, that, who they can work with. And uh, the, the, the reality is, is that uh, this is going to be a close race, but I'm giving individuals an, an idea and a chance as to how we can advance our state light years beyond where we are right now. And we're on the other side of the, of the tail. Everybody is holding on to our tail and seeing what we're doing and we're setting standards for the rest of the country.